And good morning from Plettenberg Bay. Today is the 1st of February. Uh, today is the start of the cycle tour. And with me I have Rian and Anel Brandt. Rian, how are you feeling this morning? I don't have words. Can we skip to the next one? <laughs> next question. No, I'm feeling great, Warren. Hon honestly, um, training went well. I feel healthy. I feel fitish. Um, but it's not a race, as I said from the beginning. It's not a race. It's heading from here to Lambert's Bay and we'll take it one day at a time. Feeling great. Okay, so there's obviously been a few months of preparation. How long have you been training for this? It's about four months. I got the first cycle sponsored um, about four months ago. Started training immediately. Thought I was a hero when I did my first 5Ks. Um, and then after that, I started doing longer distances, uh, 40s, 50s, I did 114, 84, 87, so um, yeah, I've been building up to today. Okay, and then the most important question, <clears throat> Rian, why is it that you decided to do this? It's a very long answer, really. It is um, it's something that I've always wanted to do, is, is leave something behind for my kids to be proud of. Um, and the combination of what Cape Exit is doing and where we're going with, uh, with the movement towards independence. I thought I might as well combine my lifelong dream to build something, to leave something behind that people can talk about for a while after I'm gone, um, leave a legacy for my kids to be proud of, take my wife along with me on the road and um, Get this, get this uh, goal where we're going to to the people, the message of independence to the people. Great stuff. And then Anel, um, Rian obviously woke up one morning with this bright idea of walking from from Littenburg Bay <laughs> to Lambert's Bay, and you you saw something different. Um, explain to us how is it that you know what did you think and what did you feel when Rian told you what he wanted to do? I think the first. Gevoel was, oh boy. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Um, maar ek het wel gesê, weet jy, wat jy ook al doen, ek is daar. Okay. 100% van sal. Um, ek denk nie stap is een optie nie, probeer een fiets. Jy kan tenminste cruise op die afdraande. Ja. Um, maar ek weet, as hy een ding in sy kop het, dan doen hy dit. En ek is altyd sal. Ons is een, ons doen dit sal. Uh, Great. Um, um, actually very glad she convinced me to cycle. I mean walking would be crazy. It would take me long. It's yeah. just not practical so common sense kicked in. Great. Well look all I can say is on behalf of Cape Exit and all the people of, uh, that support Cape Independence we wish you the best of luck. We will be following you along the road and uh, stay safe and we will stay in contact with you and thank you to both of you for, for taking on this massive task. May I please just thank everybody. I mean, it's been a team effort all the way. Cape Exit have been brilliant. Um, the people that have been supporting us. So I don't want to make this a long-winded story. Just support the tour wherever you are, whichever town you are. Um, come and visit, say hi, and we'll do this. And greatest, greatest thanks of all to my wife. Um, awesome. Without her support, nothing will happen. Great. Best of luck, guys. We'll thanks. see you on the road. Thanks. world a little bit. I'm going to turn this around quickly. Excuse the shake. There's the country we all love. Have a look at this. So guys enjoy the weekend. Thank you so much for your support. It's been absolutely magnificent. Uh, keep up the good work. Hi, Jelle. So, here is a fantastic day in, uh, in Swellendam. 
ons het uh, so 70 kilo's om te rijden van daar Bredaas daar toe um, al die pad tot uh, in die richting van Nogales um, Wijnand het sy vrienden bij elkaar gekry Wijnand, baie dankie Ja, dat is goed bezien Wat weet jy? Wat is in die, die keel? Ja, ons praat nie daar oor nie <laughs> Sê vir my, wat het jy besluit? Jy gaan saam met my rijden Adrian, weet je wat jullie doen? Zo'n groot effort. Want ons moet iets, moet, moet iets doen. Al ons best gaat. Ja. Ik wil lekker plek, dus de is jammer. En ik kan me net, kan me net bijzetten. Beste, beste fietswinkel. <laughs> en ik wil verbergen. Ja, ik wil weg. Hou hem, hou hem dat, hou hem dat. rechtstreeks vanuit ons ateliers hier in uh, Bredaansdorp op die hoek van All Saints en Langstraten. Soos ek beloof het vroeger gaan ons gesels oh, uh, of gesels ons nou liever uh, met een van die fietsrijers en uh, betrokken is daar by um, Cape Exit die nie al gehoorde daarvan en die nie gaan ons ook nou jou geheerbietje verfris en vir jou inlig oor uh, Cape Exit um, en uh, uh, ook natuurlijk waar oor die hele fiets toe gaan. So, baie welkom en uh, ja, natuurlijk sluit ons baie speciale gast na aan by ons hier in die atelier en natuurlijk het ook lekker langklaas gast vir welkom, so dit is vir my ook baie lekker om vanmiddag uh, goeiemiddag te sê en baie welkom uh, te heet vir Rian Brandt hier by Radio Overberg FM. Goeiemiddag maak oor en baie baie dankie vir die geleentheid, het is lekker om by julle te keier. Ek het gedink ons sal telefonies gesels, ja. ek dink dis beter so. Nee, ek ook fantastisch, ons, uh, ons het het nodig as mens ook somtijds. So ja, um, kom ons sê vir die luisteraars, waar oor gaan Cape Exit? Cape Exit is uh, nie winsgevende, nie rasgebaseerde, nie geloofgebaseerde, uh, nie winsgevende organisatie, dis een redelike mond vol, ja. maar al die concepte is besonder belangrijk. Ja. Um, so, Cape Exit is een organisatie wat homself uh, bemoei met die bewustmaking en die um, uh, nastrewe vir een referendum vir weeskap onafhankelijkheid. Dit wil sê Cape Exit werf lede wat sê ja, ons wil graag een referendum hee. Uh, die kees is, is natuurlijk wanneer die referendum daar is by die publiek self of hulle gaan stem vir weeskap onafhankelijkheid of nie die kese is nie in enige iemand sy keel afgedrukt nie, dit is hoekom ons die referendum wil hee, ja. is toch om vir mense te sê, weet jy, uh, jy weet het al nie, maar jy het die kese, uh, en kom oefen geris jou kese uit, uh, wat ons nastreef by Cape Exit, uh, ek is net een verteenwoordiger, ek is glad nie op hulle bestuur nie, ek doen die fietstoer ja. ter wille van bewismaking, uh, kom registreer by Cape Exit, so ons een referendum kan eis, ja zodat so ons voor die machten daarboe, uh, het sy die uh, bestuur van die weeskap, het sy die uh, Zuid-Afrikaanse regering, of dan nou die internationale routes, uh, geef vir ons net een referendum, zodat so ons kan besluit die mensen wat hier woon, uh, die inwoners, die kiezers, mm-hmm. op die uh, onafhankelijke verkiezingscommissies uh, kiezersrol. Uh, ja, ons wil die weeskap onafhankelijk hee of nie. Het is ja. so eenvoudig soos dit eindelijk. Ek is, ek is helemaal verstom. Ons het uh, so pas in Elim aangekom. Dit is, uh, dit was een Moraviese sendingstasie, uh, 1823, as ek raag onthou, 1824, was hier een Moraviese sendingstasie. As jylle kyk na die, kyk na die gebouwe, die dorp is net absoluut prachtig. Dit is een fenomenale plek, die pastorie is so ekie van my af, ons draai so om, dan kan ons net sien. Also is die pastorie achter my, uh, hier is die gemeenskapsaal, die pink gebouw achter my hierdie kant. Um, dit is een beautiful plek, die huise hier in die straat af, hierdie is kerkstraat, want die kerk staan ek staan nie by die kerk. Hierdie ook kloktoren is fascinerend mooi. Um, kerkstraatse huisies is allemaal soeke unieke 
kleurige verf. Um, blauwe en pinke en net zulke lichte pastelkleren. Dat is prachtig. Als je van, van een galles of een rein elem en dat is een sik om te beleef. Ons gaan vanmiddag baie foto's zien. Uh, geniet die rest van jullie dag. Ons gesels weer morgen in Hermanus. Ik denk ons gaan ouwe hawe toe. Uh, die ouwe hawe is een fascinerende plek in Hermanus. So ons sal daar draai gaan maak. Lekker dag vir julle allemaal. Ons praat morgen. Hi guys. So here we are. Hermanus, the world capital of South Africa. And obviously very popular uh, tourist destination always hustling and bustling with tourists such a spectacular place used to be an old playground of mine uh, when i was a lot younger so we came in from elam today it was quite a tough trek uh, in total about 90 k's of which unfortunately there was stop and go road work so i had to do a little bit of a lift at the back of the bucky but that was unavoidable downhill from here so I thought I want to share this with you probably one of the most beautiful routes along our coastline Western Cape is this is like heaven I, I, I can't just go past and not share with you so I'm gonna grab the camera excuse the shake excuse the hand noise I beg your pardon the wind noise uh, I'll take you about 200 300 meters down this road so uh, bear with me for a second there Island. I'm in the middle of uh, the prison on Robben Island. Uh, it's a weird feeling, I must tell you. It is a weird feeling 
Uh, this place is absolutely steeped in history. I mean, it's been a prison or outpost or post office or something for the past 400 years. So lots of people have stayed here, lived here, died here. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's been declared a World Heritage Heritage site in 1999 and I can understand why it is so steeped in history. But then, you know, you also start to think, uh, what can we do about history? I don't want to get philosophical about this, but there's nothing we can do about history. History can be sad, it can be joyous, it can be whatever you want it to be, but you can't change it. You can never change, don't care who you are, you can't change history. So what do we do? So what do we do? We move forward. We look towards the future. And for the first time ever, I think, let me show you how to change the future in your hands. There you are. Rogan Island, Western Cape. This is how we change the future. Everybody. So here we are, top of Pekingese Kloof Pass, the infamous Pekingese Kloof Pass. I, I mean, you can look at the background, just look at that valley, isn't that the most beautiful thing? So everybody warned me about this pass, everybody said, it's war, oh, it's going to kill you, it's difficult. Was it hot? Of course it was hot. Was it steep? Was it tiring? Of course it was. Uh, did that put us uh, down? No. Does that sound familiar? Does it sound like something we're busy with? If I had to listen to everybody that had an opinion about not only this tour, but about this pass and previous difficult sections of the road, I would still be in my bed. Uh, you're not going to get anything done. You might think you will, but you won't. So, difficulties? Yes, there's a lot of those. There's a lot. Hard times? A lot. 
but uh, you know what you put your head down get your head right put your shoulder to the wheel can be done think about that for a minute So this is it. I'm sure you don't have any doubts where I am at the moment. Lombards by. 1,133 kilometers. And here we are. This is the Gamut Colony, just outside of Lambeth Bay, just across from the harbor. Uh, and uh, what a sight, 20, 22,000 gamuts. Reading colony. It's been an emotional ride, guys. Um, I have so many people to thank. I can't long story small. The every video is on the yellow to say for elke liever persoon wat die fiets tour gevolg het, wat deel was daarvan, likes, shares, jelle commentaar. The Cape Exit Spawn, Security, all the Owens, Elke Liebe Person, with the successful tour of Hamlet. It's my heart, it's my heart, it's my heart, it's my heart. I don't know what to say. It was a great tour. I hope it was a successful tour. In, uh, Van voor zeven die mensen ons kan die weeskapen nog aan te maken. Dat is geen geen twijfel. Zo na drie weken zijn we hier allemaal cheers. Look after yourself, be safe. I'll see you at the referendum.